Let's talk about what a speech act is and how the concept of speech act is useful. To do this, let's begin with a commonly used framework that people use for thinking about communication. It goes like this, a speaker transmits information to the listener. And well, this is a really bare bones version of the framework. It gets more complex than this, but this is a usual kind of way of thinking about what communication is all about. That It's about transmitting information. So maybe this person says, bats use echolocation to orient themselves spatially. And the listener takes note of this information and adds it to his previous store of information. I guess that's the idea. Now, that makes sense. But what about if the person says, why don't you come over for dinner tomorrow? We know that the other person doesn't just take note of information about dinners and days, but takes this as an invitation. And if the, this person says, sure, thanks, I'll come, then in fact, these two have plans for tomorrow. So they're going to coordinate their actions and show up at the same place for a meal tomorrow. So something has happened. The person isn't just giving information about dinner, but is actually carrying out a social act of inviting. Or if the person says, good game, bro. Well, the other person doesn't just take note of us. Yes, the game is uh, adequate. I will add this information to what I know. No, in fact, this is also a compliment. And it may be depending on what's going on in, in the social dynamics here. Most likely it serves to... Uh, to enhance their connection and to kind of um, create more solidarity and uh, group cohesion. And even if people say things such as bats use echolocation to orient themselves spatially, I would argue that very, very often something like this is not said just for the purpose of transmitting information of the who did what to whom kind, but that it could be for the purpose of showing off, you know, boasting about how much information he has. If there are scientists, this could serve as a suggestion for what they should do next in their research. Um, so quite often people actually do something, carry out a social action when speaking, not just giving information about who did what to whom. So this model, if we take it too simply, in terms of what kind of information is being transmitted, we risk uh, noticing this important fact of social acts that people do by speaking. So a speech act is an act that a speaker performs when making an utterance. We've just seen some examples. So invitations are speech acts, thanks, requests, refusals, apologies, and many, many others. These are just some of the ones that have been studied more, most often. They are good examples of commonly occurring speech acts.